Hello and welcome back to my channel, Angus is Gaming. I am Angus. Welcome to Automa Chef. I don't know what this is about. Um, this is the first time I've actually installed it and booted it up. Uh, so let's get straight into it. First of all, uh, thank you to anyone who's subscribed and watched my videos, uh, engaged with the channel in any way. It is very much appreciated. And also, for those three people that are watching my videos at the moment, you should be happy to know that I've ordered a new microphone. So hopefully the sound quality will get a lot better and there won't be so much hissing and popping and wheezing. So, with all that done, let's get into Automa Chef. So, I'll press the spacebar to start. So, here we go. So we've got campaign mode, contracts mode, test, test site, scenario editor, how to play. Quick look at the settings. Uh, yep, they look like settings, alright. Right, I'll do. Uh, how to play. Oh, good. Ah, we don't need this stuff. Let's just get straight into it. Okay, let's start the campaign. Okay, deliver three meals. Keep electricity usage under 500 watts. Use fewer than 50 ingredients. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's see what we've got to do. Okay, three orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage less than 500. Blah, blah, blah. Recipes to prepare. That looks like a hamburger. We've got a budget of $40,000. Okay, hello there, fellow human being. Thank you for responding to my advertisement, helping me set up my new restaurant chain. Click to continue. My plan is to use a fully autonomous kitchen. Autonomous, that's going to be a problem word. Uh, to cut costs and crush mankind. I mean, efficiency, efficiently produce wholesome, tasty dishes. The kind humans like us, like us, love to digest. God, I wish I could read. Before we start on our first restaurant, we need to prove the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions and let's make sure this business plan of mine is feasible. Okay. You can use WSAD, cycle between camera positions using XC. You can also zoom in and out using the scroll. Right, okay. Let's start by making a very simple kitchen that can only make plain burgers. I'll start by placing an assembler, a machine that combines ingredients into finished dishes. Click on the assembler. In Parts list and then place it in the mark location. It can be rotated. You'll need to rotate the assembler so its outputs are facing right. Okay. So, assembler. Costs 5,000. Put it there. Great. Now, right click on the assembler and select plain burger as the dish to be assembled. I love telling those dumb machines what to do. Just like you, partner. Okay, recipe to follow. Plain burger. Okay. Before we place any more machines, let's have a look at the recipe to see what you will need. Click on the recipes button to view the plain burger recipe. This one? Ah, right. Mmm, that burger looks good. My taste sensors, I mean taste buds, are going crazy. So the recipe says we need one burger bun and one raw patty, which will need to be cooked. Okay. There are some machines we can use to dispense, cook and transport the ingredients. Close the recipe tab by pressing the OK button. Gotcha. Select the dispenser in the parts list and place two of them in the locations I've marked. Don't forget to use the Q and E keys to rotate them. Okay. So we need the rotating with the E, one there, and one there. Right, now click the top one to configure it to dispense buttons. Pop buttons. Click a button. Okay. Okay, so, doing okay so far. Only because we're being told what to do, that is. 
So now we have got our sauce and raw patties, we'll need a means of cooking them. The grill will do the job, select the grill, blah blah blah. Okay, so, does it matter which way this goes? Doesn't look like it. Okay, great work. Let's get those ingredients moving, select the conveyor belt from the pass list and place them in the locations I've marked. Rotating them if necessary. Right, so, yes. Yes. Why did that change? Weird. Conveyor belts cannot directly feed a grill or assembler, so we'll need to use robotics to handle the transitions between machines. Click the robotic arm, done. Oh, it is actually called robotic arm, done. In the parts list and place them marks. Okay, so we've got a. How is that? Okay. Sometimes it's orientating itself, sometimes it's not. We need to pick up co cooked patties from the grill and place them into the assembly. Robotic arms, done. They'll pick up anything. So they won't pick up a raw patty as soon as it's placed in front of them. Instead, we need to use a robotic arm smart so that we can configure it to only pick up cooked patties. Whew. Okay. That goes there. That robotic arm smart isn't as intelligent as us human beings. So it needs to be told exactly what ingredients to pick up. Right click on it and cook. Right. So right click. Uh, uh, cook cook patty, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now we can make a small test run in the kitchen. Let's see how everything works out. Click on the start button. Okay. So uh energy used is going up. Ingredients used. Okay, good and cooking. Okay, so that's in the assembler now. Okay, there goes one. Okay, this is good. Oh, there goes two. And third one. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Not too bad. Okay, level one complete. Congratulations, you've helped me achieve the first step in my plan for global, global dominance. By which, of course, I mean dominance of the fast food market. Okay. Next, we're going to look at making our machines more efficient. Join me again when you're ready. Going soy well. Okay. Right, okay, so we'll do. We've done that one, so we'll. We'll have a quick go with this one. Right, five orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 500 watts. I'm assuming that's watts. Uh, use fewer than 50 ingredients. Okay, that looks like there might be cheese in there now. Ah, you're back. I was just converting oxygen into carbon dioxide, <laughs> as we all do. Uh, oh, we actually said that as well, like we all do. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's time to learn about how we can make our kitchens more efficient, so that we don't waste ingredients or energy. But first, I need you to finish this kitchen layout. Currently, its layout is suited for plain burgers, but I need it to produce cheese burgers. It's always a good idea to look at the recipe first. Let's see what ingredients are needed so we know what machines to place. Click on the recipe for cheeseburger. Okay. This recipe requires cheese. Mm, amazing. Which needs to be processed into a cheese slice. Right, okay. Close the recipe window and I'll tell you which machines we need. Right. Wait, this assembler already has two robot arms feeding ingredients into it. Which is the maximum. For adding cheese, we'll need to transport it to the assembler on the same conveyor belts that the burger buns use. <sighs> the robot arm done. 
but it's currently picking up the burger burn will pick up any ingredient so it will be able to place the cheese slice into the assembled soup. Click on the dispenser in the parts list and place it on the mark location, rotating it if necessary. Okay, so turn it with E and place it there. Right click and cheese. Right click and cheese. Right, cheese. Okay. Now we need a food processor to turn the cheese into a cheese slice. Click on the food processor. Okay. See? I'm sure that auto rotated then. The food processor requires no additional center, but it will automatically process any ingredient that passes through it. So more advanced dishes will require ingredients to be processed multiple times. Now we just need to reconfigure the assembler, right click on the assembler and select cheeseburger. Okay. Recipe to follow. Cheeseburger. Okay. So we got the raw patties on their own conveyor coming down there onto the grill. We got the buns coming out of here that are gonna meet with the cheese. And then this arm's gonna pick up cooked patties, put them in the assembler, this will kick up, pick up the buns and the cheese and put them in there. Cool. I understand. Okay, come on. Okay, bun, cheese, bun, cheese. Just waiting for our first patty. Oh, we're up over 50 got cheese already. Okay, so there's our first cheeseburger going out. Second cheeseburger. Okay, once it gets going, it's quite a efficient process. Okay, one. Oh, energy used. It's going up quite quick, actually. Three. Is that four? No, that was three. Ah, uh, okay. So, so it goes and waits there and then. Ah, oh, right. Oh, okay. so it's done. Where are we going? Are they just going into the furnace or something? Right, this kitchen has a flaw. It will endlessly produce cheeseburgers. What a waste of ingredients, and more importantly, electricity. Misuse of electrons make me feel sad and angry. Me too, me too. Ingredients are constantly being dispensed, and the grill is always on. Even if no one has ordered a cheeseburger, that cannot be allowed. You can fix this by placing an order reader to ensure the cheeseburger is prepared. Only when an order comes through, select the order reader in the parts list and place it in the location highlighted. Okay. It doesn't apparently need to be rotated. Right click on the order reader and set it to detect cheeseburger orders. Okay, detect cheeseburgers. Now that the order reader will detect whenever a cheeseburger order is placed, we can use it to control up to four of the machines. Now select the new connection parts. Left click on the cheese dispenser to create a connection. Okay. Select do nothing to expand the control options and scroll the option so that perform action one. Oh, perform action one time on new order is set. So Perform action one time on new order. Okay. Do this. And we do the same again. Okay. Perform action one time on new order. That's when the burger burns. Perform action one time on new order. Okay, cool. Finally, let's control that grill. Select new connection. Uh, left click on the grill to create a connection. 
On while order is pending. Okay, cool. Great work, now let's see what happens. Press start to begin. Okay. So where's the others? Oh, this is the test site. Yeah. So that is an actual furnace we're checking it into. Right. Oh. On the left there... On the left there are... Hang on. Um, on the left there are where... Cus there are where customer orders will appear. Hmm. I'll, I'll simulate some customer orders. Simulate makes me sound almost like a machine. How humorous. Yeah, hilarious. Okay, two cheeseburgers. So, another one chicken now. Huh? Okay, so, how's it get rid of this? Nothing like that, so we can see everything. Okay, so that's one. God, uses of energy quick. I mean, it's, even though we've automated it to only do it when we need it, it's still using a lot of energy. Okay, so that's that. Bun, cheese. Put the patty, so that'll go in. Wait in bun. Yeah, so the bun and the cheese are waiting for the cooked patty. There we go. Cool. And that's five orders. Perfect, we vastly improved the efficiency of our kitchen. I knew you were the person for the job. I think it's time to start on our first premises. The world won't know what's about to unfold. Ha 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 ha, uh, yes. Let's open our first restaurant then, shall we? Okie doke. Well, that's alright. Ah, okay, so now we get into it. So, seems alright. Not a bad little game. I'm sure it'll get much more difficult as time goes on. So, the actual first restaurant is deliver 10 meals, keep electricity usage under 500 watts, use fewer than 40 ingredients. Okay, I think we'll do that next time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed uh, that first little tutorial bit, so I think I'll I'll come back to this again. Uh, and all that's left to say, thank you for watching. If you've engaged with my channel in any way, thank you very much. If you've liked, if you've subscribed, and in saying that, uh, I will see you next time.